Okay. Hi, my name's John. Uh, today we're going to be demonstrating how to use an on-car brake lathe. Uh, some shops may call it a war hog, some may call it just an on-car cutter. It all depends on where you are, what they want to call it. Um, but first thing you want to do is always make sure everything's good and clean. Um, your rotor surface is clean. Your mating surface for the on-car brake lathe to the rotor adapter is good and clean. Uh, if you don't, it could throw off the measurement and not give you a good clean cut. Um, next thing we want to do is all our preconditions have already been met. We're going to turn it on. And we're going to press our start button. And it's going to run through and it's going to adjust. Okay, so we've got 0.7, which is... It's reasonable, it's not the best, but it'll do. Uh, next thing we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna run in our blades to about the halfway point of the rotor. Once you get there, you're actually gonna run these in until you're just touching and you'll hear it. There's that one. There's our back side. Now once we got those where we're just touching, we're going to reset these to zero. That tighten up a little bit. Okay. Now we're going to back them off. It's two thousands. Let's see. Back those off a little bit. I'm going to run it all the way in down to the inside lift of the rotor. But that's about as far as we're going to go there. Okay. And reset our blades back to zero. Tighten that down. Now what you want to do is basically just however much you're going to cut off. If you're going to cut off five thousandths of an inch or ten thousandths of an inch, you're just going to run your blades in, however much that may be. So here we're only going to go about five thousandths here. Okay. Lock it down. We're going to grab our silencer, we're going to put it on. Once all that's done, you just hit this little button here and let the machine do the work. Uh, also on the machine, there's going to be a little button here with our cutoff switch. And basically what that does, that way if you have to walk away from the vehicle for some reason, uh, maybe you gotta go talk to a customer or who knows what the case may be. Once that gets to this point, it's gonna shut the machine down so it doesn't damage anything on the inside of the wheel well of the vehicle. Uh, that's pretty much it for this machine. I hope it's helped. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.